Hey, hey, it's Briggs R down here in the basement, and I've gone through this set here that we have. I bought this on eBay. It is a vintage Lego set from 1958. It is set 308, which is the first year of the Lego brick that 308 came out, 1958, and it's made out of these plastic bricks that are um, different than the plastic today. In 1958, they used, I believe, cellulose acetate. Today, they use ABS plastic. So this could be very challenging to build. Now, I bought it on eBay, and I'll turn it down to the parts now, the camera. Here we go, going down here. And hopefully you can see this, but I set aside these parts. They were incorrect parts. Uh, these were more modern uh, bricks they sent. This is a 2 by 4 brick. It has the modern logo on it. Let's see if I can get that in there. Ooh, we got to block everything else out in the back. But anyway. And then the a couple of the one by 2 trans clear were more modern bricks. They had a more modern logo. The door was oriented the wrong way. I had to fix that. So these were the incorrect parts. I think everybody, everything else is period correct. I got a portion of the box which is the instructions so that's what we're going to do and the reason i wanted to do this live is because my experience in building cellulose acetate based sets or anything with cellulose acetate bricks is it can be very challenging to do so you're probably going to be looking at it upside down uh i might i might try to turn it to where you can see it <laughs> So anyway, thanks everybody that's here right now. Uh, since I'm going to be building, I won't be looking a whole lot at the chat, but I will try to get there occasionally. So let me just see who's in here now. We see Lego Freak as usual. We got Trader, Spongeo Garden, Singinator, Brick Blaze, Brick Delight. We also had Ildna, MLG Gaming, Sir Sir Bricks a lot. Oh, did I already say that one? Christian Roman, Rick. Rollopoly. Yes, these are not brick built fire trucks, by the way. These are cellulose acetate fire trucks. They are Lego. Genuine Lego. Let me see if I can get this where you can see it. It's upside down. Is it upside down? I don't know. <laughs> so these are Lego. It only comes with one fire truck. Yeah, there you go. All right, let me get back down to the chat here. Brick Vibe is here. Hey, Brick Vibe. CSX 68. I'm still, Brick Vibe, I'm still working on finishing my train station that you sent me. I got to get those stickered pieces on there. So we're going to try to build this. We'll see how long it takes. Yeah, y'all chat among yourself, and then I'll get back to it when I get done. You can hear me fussing. Hopefully the table won't shake the camera too much. I got to get a new table. Can you, everybody, I guess, can hear me all right, so... That's good. All right. I don't know if I can build this upside down. So I'm gonna, okay, this is the the inventory is it had 55 one by two bricks and then about 60 other pieces. <laughs> so it's mostly one by two bricks. Where would be a good spot to build this? Let's slide these over. Get the wrong pieces out of here. Slide these over. Get those trucks out of the way. Get those out of the way. All right. I hope this thing doesn't go in and out of focus. That could be annoying. Again, these parts are real shiny for being 60-year-old parts. They're made out of cellulose acetate, which warps very easily, and it makes it a challenge to build. Ah, good. Spongeo Garden says the sound is lit. Hey, the jackhammer is here as well. All right, I'm trying to. Uh oh, I'm about to mess up already. Hmm, this is hard. All right, we're done with step one now. That is step one. No base plates. Uh, 
back in the day they didn't have the the, um, the flat base plates. They, these were basically your plates. Is these things here? All right, let's go on to step two, which in, step two involves doing two steps at once, basically two levels at once. All right. Joey Jones is here. Thank you, Joey. Joey is another lover of vintage. <laughs> so hopefully I, I can build this thing and it look right when I get done. Oh, these, there's no clutch power. That's the other problem. The one by ones have very poor clutch power. So they didn't have a, I guess they didn't have a one by four brick back then because it looks like this, this whole level is basically one by two bricks. And that can get annoying. It's going to have, it's kind of flimsy right now. I don't think once I get it built, I'm going to be able to pick it up. I don't, like normally a, a set like this, once you get done building it, even without the base plate, you could just pick the whole thing up. But it's really snake-like right now. It's like, Ooh. <laughs> it is terrible. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Okay, I think, uh, I can't. It is hard to tell what they're doing here. Oh, man. I'm assuming that's a one by two right there. Oh, they threw me. They have the two. Man, this is hard. It's hard to follow the directions. So that goes there. And I think this goes like that. This goes like that. And this thing is, is terrible with the clutch power. Oh, come on. Maybe I, I keep moving it. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but fun at the same time, I guess. Let's see if you can actually do it. Oh, man. I'm already not a good builder, so that makes it extra challenging. John Cena is here. <laughs> Figer 22. Hey, Ranger 18, you made it. Appreciate it. <laughs> John Cena, I enjoyed your work in the television show Psych. Um, I don't know what else you... Actually, I watched an episode of Psych. It had John Cena in it. I, I didn't know who the guy was. I was like, who is that guy? And I looked it up, and it was John Cena. I was like, oh, that's the John Cena that everybody's talking about. Or the guy that's the meme. And then all of a sudden, it's like an ad on a place, um, Scrabble, on the my iPhone. And the ad that was annoying me for the last week was the Kids' Choice Awards or something. It had John Cena. I was going to be sure and not watch that, though. So, sorry if you are the real John Cena. If you are, I don't know why you'd be watching this, though. A oh, good thing this is a a revert a, a mirrored build. It's the mirror th this side is a mirror of this side, so that makes it a little easier. Man, it's gonna look it's gonna look like all uneven when I get done. Oh, can't tell. Okay, you got the, the window. It's got windows and glass. Oh, come on. See, there's no clutch power. The trans parts are, are real bad with the clutch power, too. No no stud support or a tube support in the middle of these. Hold on here. All right, looks like, oh, I wonder if there's a, I wonder if there's a one by two right there. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Boy, this is tough. So I'm going to put this. A one by six goes across here. I went to Toys R Us today, and oops, um, yeah, it's still the same. Still above retail. What a clearance sale! 
Man, is that <laughs> it's pitiful. Oh, come on. It, the piece won't even hold. It keeps falling off. This is. All right. I will finish this build. Oh, goodness. BBI. I will not be defeated by this 1958 plastic. Look, I put a piece on it. It. The it, it it sticks more to my finger than it does the stud. That's just how bad it is. Hey, everybody that's here. Yeah, I, I'm glad I used all my rewards rewards programs, Lego Freak, because I uh, yeah they they if you had a bunch of points, you lost it. So I I had I only had five dollars and I used it a couple weeks ago. Hey, Canadian Brickyard, one of the top 100 Lego YouTubers in the whole universe. <laughs> Apparently that blog has updated uh, their list of 100. All right, let's see here. And then now it's like, oh, I skip one, two. <laughs> oh, I skipped two. I went like this. I went. I went one. I didn't realize you go like that. Oh, so I was. No wonder that was. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't go like one, two, three. It's 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 one, two, three, four, five. I got. I wasn't paying attention, but I got that level right. I got it right. Now I'm on three. Almost done with three. Oh, I am done with three. Now I got to go to four. So here's four. Hey, brother from another brick and brick nerd are here. Is that the which brick nerd is that? Is that that's not Tommy, is it? I know it doesn't look like Tommy. Be fab in the house. All right, let's see if I can do this step. Well, it looks like they got a clear piece here. Did I put a? Did I miss a clear piece somewhere? Uh. That looks like a clear piece. But then when I get up here, oh, this is. You know what I'm going to do? They show. It show. If I can focus on this, it shows a clear piece. Let me get up here. Hey, I got okay. Well, on um, step four behind the door, it shows a well. If I move it, it goes out of focus. There we go. It shows a clear piece behind the door there, but I don't have enough to do the other step unless the inventory is wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What did I did I use one in the wrong place? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three. So oh, I asked what I did wrong. Thank you for pointing that out, anybody. All right, now I got I messed up right there. I put a clear piece and I should have put a white piece. Oh, oh come on. It's ridiculous. All right, now I'm doing it right. Step four. Tell these things. These are a challenge. <laughs> Thank you. See, looks like Brick the Light noticed it. <laughs> yes, and Mega Henry's review. You guys are good. I don't even know how you can see that. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Thank you for noticing that. Oh, look at this! It came completely apart. Just touching it. It's not going to hold together. Oh, oh y'all are good. Y'all are good. All right. Trying to get this, this. Okay, I'm not going to have a nervous breakdown. Um, this does try your patience. Uh, I think I will be able to finish this. I tried that train set where I actually had the wrong instructions. I was trying to build a train, um, and I ended up breaking some pieces, uh, not intentionally, 
just it was hard to build. All right, one by eight. Hopefully this will strengthen it up. These one by eights. I don't know why they didn't use them on the lower level. We're going to make it a lot easier. Oh, that's helping a lot right there. And then the one by sixes right here. Oh yeah, this is. These are helping. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, well, I thought they were helping. That fell off awfully easy. <laughs> okay, one by six here. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man. So this will probably officially be the oldest set that I have. It's 60 years old. Actually, looks pretty good for 60 years old. Hey, Ninjatanic. I like your shortened name. It's easier to say. Good job with that. Oh, yeah, Joey's that he's talking about the train that I was just talking about. He says, I'm working on the same train using pet pending bricks instead of CA. Yeah, it train was pretty much impossible to build with the official CA bricks. So I'm thinking of just like, OK, I'll have the CA bricks to say that I have all the parts for that set. But then I'll just build it using a little bit more modern brick. <laughs> all right. So here we go with we're almost done. Uh, I'm building it upside down. I want to make sure I do this right. Oh, these went flying. Yeah, these are, these should all be, I think I, these are all definitely CA bricks. And I was going to, I thought about before I do this video, I would have treated these to make them, I hate that the things, that's my son texting. Oh. Okay. Uh, that sturdied it up really a lot better. Okay. All right, now we got to do the top level. It shows a Lego logo on the top level here, but there are different versions of this set. We're going to use the one that has Fire Station. Furwer. All right. And now i got to figure out how the lower part is done. It appears that... It's like this. You know what? I know how the top is. So let's see. I'm going to do that. And then under that is this. I'm reverse engineering. It's hard to tell in these directions how it really goes. It's one part. Uh -oh. Build it upside. This is not, they're not going to hold. All right. So it appears that the uh, one by two should, two, I mean, the two by four should go there. Oh, okay. Dang it. Uh, he's still. Oh. I'm still doing it wrong. Oh. Oh, no. That is wrong, Briggs are. That is wrong. That is definitely wrong. There should be four of these bricks. I think uh, inventory, I either looked at the inventory wrong or. Uh, so I'm going to do this. That works. And then this. Yeah, it goes like that. So I need another two by four white brick. Which means I'm going to have to go get one. Because these are not the right ones. And I wish I could take you with me. Um, musical interlude. I don't have any music to play. I'll be right back. See how fast I can get back.
Whoa, whoops. I got it. Don't worry. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, thank you for singing while I was gone. Hey, Brick Bill Meister. <laughs> Brick Zar's being kidnapped. I wish uh, Pablo could have filled in for me, you know, while I was gone. He didn't. All right, so almost done. Windows. Oh. Oh. Where did the one by two go? <laughs> I lost it. Now I need a one by two. Not going away this time. I'm still here. I got other signs I could put on there. I got a one by two in here. This is my box of old parts. Some of them even predate uh, the, um, these are the original Lego bricks. Look, here's a clear one with no studs. So, those are really old. Those are older than those, I think. I'm pretty sure. All right. I need to... Okay, here we go. Put the top on this booger. And we have a fear whirrer. Let's come down a little lower. Oh, shaky cam. Shaky cam. Extreme close up. Hold on. Uh, can't get that low. How low can you go? There we go. Trying to get it. Focus. I want it to focus. I hate this camera. All right. So we're done with the fewer. Wait, well, it's um, fewer veer. Fewer veer. And I still can't get it to focus. Maybe it's all this other stuff going on in the background. Yeah, that's a little better. Nope, still not better. Dang it! <laughs> I'm going to spend the whole stream trying to get the camera in focus. But that's the building. There we go. So we have built... Uh, I gotta come up now. The first Lego fire station. All right. Isn't that cool? I'll just do the 360 spin here. Uh oh. Ugh. That piece, there's a piece over here that looks pretty bad on this side. Look at that. And it's pretty bad. And you would need a like a town plan cardboard thing to put this on. It had like the little roads. So what do y'all think? I can't focus. I'm sorry. The stupid camera. Here we go. Every time I get it in focus. <laughs> hey, Audiotron is here. Hey, Audiotron. I'm trying. This is um this is annoying. Fear were. Oh well, let's do this. Let's pull this back here by me. Pull the camera up like this. I'm just messing around here. All right. Hey. <laughs> I got a fire station. What do you think? Now I'll look at the comments. Pull the comments closer where I can see them. Who is here today? <clears throat> oh, 
All right. Garfield Smith said, basic simplicity. This probably provided hours of enjoyment for the kids who had it at one time. And I, I, I think that's so true. I mean, this was, I think this was kind of a groundbreaking toy. Um, and probably in 1958, these pieces stuck to better, stuck together better. I don't know at what point the pieces started showing signs of warp, but it was only a few years later that Lego went to ABS, which was a much better plastic. There's Bubba Bricks. He says, this set is in fuego. Actually, he put three little fire flames there. Brick Nerd doesn't need to be super detailed for kids. Yes, because you can use your imagination. Imagination. Um, and Ninja Tanic says, do you have any wooden toys made by Lego? I do. I have a toy block set, set number 500. I think it's from the 40s. I have to look it up. Um, Joey Jones probably knows better than me. <laughs> Spirit Particle says, what's imagination? <laughs> Audiotron loves the the old sets. He has some vintage sets as well. <laughs> Tiggs88 says, loads better than the new classic sets. I agree. And, of course, LEGO will never make these HO scale vehicles again. Uh, at least I don't think they would ever do that. But uh, those, those are neat toys. And these are definitely not kid-friendly. They break easy. Probably little parts could be swallowed. And I don't this thing go back. Oh, I'm hitting the inside of the wall there. That's what I'm doing. But um, Lego Freak says, I want a lot of classic sets, but the most wanted is the Cafe Corner. That's a classic for sure. Ah, yes. Joey Jones says the set I was talking about is from 1948. The block set. And that's I got the imagination. That's from SpongeBob, by the way. <laughs> I used to be a big SpongeBob fan circa when did it start? 99 to 2005 ish. That's when I liked it. Uh, Jags Martin. Hey, appreciate you being here. He made some really cool um, logos and channel art that we've used, especially over on Trains Are Fun as well. <laughs> Lego Freak even put the little <laughs> rainbow <laughs> in the comment. I'm glad that they saved the chat now because now people that are watching this on the replay can see the chat. That's pretty funny, Lego Freak. Spongeo Garden says 1958. Is that that's not Adam, is it? Hold on a minute. It, that's um, 10 years before Lego got into Australia. And that while Lego did get into the United States in the 60s, it wasn't manufactured by Lego in the in, in the United States or North America until 1973. Before that, it was under Samsonite. This set 308, I think, also got reissued as set 1308. I don't know what releases, where it was. Joey would probably know. Joey Jones would probably know. But um, or, or Gary Istock wouldn't. He know he would know. Oh, that, that, okay. Spirit part says that is Adam. Okay. <laughs> when he said Australia, I was like, oh, I should, should have got that. Yep. <laughs> Joey says Gary would know. Lego logo says, how's Georgia weather been? We had a lot of rain over the weekend, but it was a nice, pretty day here. All right. Trader is here. Hey, man, you made it. Trader has made it. <laughs> yeah. eBay's bad. So the seller, that I bought this from did a, I think he did a really good job of getting mostly period correct parts. I did have a handful that were incorrect. This one is from the right time period, but it was the wrong orientation for the door. Although with Lego in that time period, they may have used, there may have been different inventories. There was a, I don't want to say a problem, but the same set might have different parts in it. Um, especially the larger sets. But it's actually, let's see if I can pick it up. Oh, a brick stayed behind. See that? The one by two. So there's little, very little clutch power with this thing. But I hate if I destroy this. I might bring this to Brick Fair since it's the 60th year of the Lego brick. And this is the oldest brick built set, I think, that I have now. 
Um, I think I'll bring it. And I count it as complete because I have the partial instruction or the partial box with the instructions. <laughs> so I'm counting this as complete. <laughs> hey, is that Maniac for Bricks? What's going on? He stole my name. <laughs> Uncle the Bob says he bought a super worn out chrome Lego Stormtrooper for $7. I don't know. It depends on how worn it is. I mean, it is like a fifty or hundred dollar minifigure, I think. Hey, Brick Blaze, I didn't see you. Did I mention you earlier? I don't know. All right, so I appreciate everybody joining for this live build. I actually did a little better than I expected, and I'm sorry for the. I don't know how to lock the focus on this camera. Maybe one day I'll figure that out where it'll keep it in focus. And uh, I hope the sound was all right. But we're going to be coming to Brick Fair it's just in a few weeks now. April 21st and 22nd is the public days. Can you see me? Mm. Hey, I'm Brick Zor. Um, So I will be bringing some things. Uh, they Might Be Bricks is working on a roller coaster. It's going to be primarily a CD CDX Blocks roller coaster. Um, I have some ideas for mocks that I do want to take. Definitely want to take some snail-related things, some glow zone-related things. I think the glow zone is a really cool section at Philly Brick Fest, and so I really want to have something nice there. Uh, I did get nominated for my, my last-minute build that I, I made last year, but I want to try to do something a little better this time. Um, Bubba Bricks made a really cool mock there. Yeah, I don't do the long live streams. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go now. I really appreciate so many people being in here on this uh, to see a classic set. Um, I wish I knew some way to hype this video up because I think I've now officially reviewed the oldest set ever on YouTube. I don't know. As far as a brick built set, Joey probably correct me. He probably seen somebody else, probably somebody from Germany or the Netherlands or Denmark has done a video of an older set. I don't know, but it's, it's pretty old. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I really thank everybody for being here. If you're going to Philly, look for me there. I'll be the guy that looks like me. And, um, I will see you there. But I want to thank everybody who joined. <laughs> and yeah, first time on you. Oh, I like that title. <laughs> what Brick Nerd said, call it oldest Lego set ever. First video on YouTube. I'm going to actually search Lego Fire Station 308 or Lego 308 and see if it's a, a video has been done on it and then go from there. So I'll be the first, right? Or unless somebody uh, re-uploads this video before I get done. All right. So um, thanks, everybody, for joining. And we will see you in the next video. I'm sure somebody will be doing a live stream here in a little bit. Or if they're not already doing one, y'all can go catch that. And I will be dressed. Yes, that's right, Tiggs88. I'll be dressed like bricks are. That's right. I'll even have the space shirt. But I'm trying to decide which day. I may go Sunday as bricks are. And I got another one I'm going to be doing on Saturday, I think. Or I could change in the middle of the day. I got a lot of shirts. I could change throughout the day, throw people off. Anyway, we will see you in the next video. Bye.